welcome back again to my youtube channel or oh, welcome if the first time you're seeing my face here please do well to subscribe my name is oinda so today we're going to be talking about day seven of the big brother ninja reunion show 2022 <laughs> 2022 so guys today was a movie it was hot it was really hot it was simply about emmanuel and liquoros the dynamics in house out of the house pre-breakup post-breakup cause of breakup other people that he was flirting with people that were flirting with him that's all we are going to be talking about today but we were showed a clip of angel and emmanuel angel and emmanuel in the lounge area they were angel was basically flirting with emmanuel and white money was there looking at them but he was in the kitchen preparing meals and he was like he can smell something fishy you know how white money can white money remember that white money was a pro emma rose ship so he was really into the whole thing that they should but they should not lose guard anyways but that he was he really liked the emma rose ship so white money was saying he was smelling something fishy between emmanuel and angel he was just there minding his business but he said something the normal white money for anything so angel was just trying to especially it was angel that was basically flirting with emmanuel emmanuel was trying to excuse himself but she was still there so after epoca showed us that clip he now asked angel that angel you know a lot of discussion has been going around that you don't respect boundaries especially in people's relationships and all that from this clip you've seen what do you have to say about it, this okay she said that firstly that she wanted to say she wants to say that she didn't really take the emma rose ship seriously so what she was doing that if it was like she wasn't really respecting boundaries that she apologizes and that she's sorry for that that it was really nothing serious down went to gmk that there were also there was also discussion that he flirted with angel gmk sasuke he went to GMK and asked, he said, she, GMK said yes, that at some point that Emmanuel flirted with her, but that she didn't really take it seriously. Emmanuel then asked GMK that, when and when did I flirt with you? She was even acting shocked and all that. GMK then said that she can't really remember that it's been months and that's not the only thing she's thinking about, but she's sure that Emmanuel was flirting with her, that he said some inappropriate things. But she couldn't remember. Emmanuel was shot saying that that was not flirting. That he went to Sasuke. Ebuka went to Sasuke, and Sasuke said that she didn't really take that she, to her. It wasn't flirting. That she didn't really take it as anything that serious. Ebuka moves on and went to Jackie B. Ebuka asked Jackie B that, "Did you notice any flirtation from Emmanuel towards you?" Jackie B said no. That they were just cool. And to her, Emmanuel wasn't flirting with her. So Ebuka now turns to Emmanuel that for Jackie B to say that you weren't flirting with her. It means there was something you were doing wrong towards the other girls because all the girls cannot just be saying you were flirting with them. For Jackie B not to say so, there was you were treating Jackie B differently for her to say she was just seeing it as being mutual than how you were treating Angel, Sasuke, and GMK. Emmanuel was just trying to that he was not, he never agreed that he was flirting. He didn't agree on the show that he was flirting. That no, it's not flirting, it's not flirting, it's not. Mm, okay, we moved on. Um, as all these questions were being asked, as Angel, GMK and Sasuke were responding. Emmanuel was just uneasy. You could, <laughs> you could see that he was itching to defend himself. You could see that he was itching to talk. So Ebuka now finally, after talking to Sasuke, he finally yeah, came to Emmanuel. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Emmanuel said eh, that he can't just be in the house and be giving cold shoulders to everyone. That he was going to also be mingle with other people. And he didn't see it as flirting. That's how he was with Jackie B. Is how he was with everybody, so he didn't really know why everyone was saying he was flirting. Ebuka turns to Liqua Rose and says, what? Did she notice at any point that Emmanuel was flirting? Liqua Rose said she didn't really notice at any point that he was being flirtatious with the girls in the house. That it was at the point where Angel and Beatrice, she overheard them gossiping about she and Emmanuel, that's Liqua Rose and Emmanuel, that's when she noticed that there might be more to this thing. And she confronted the guy that, why are people saying this? Why are people saying that? That there must be something you're doing behind my back that is making people say that you are being flirtatious or you are using me to play your game. So what is it? Emmanuel will reassure her again. And she's this kind of person, that's what Liqua Rose said, that if she's having an issue with someone, she wouldn't listen to what people are saying. She will come to you and talk to you and whatever you tell her is what she's going to take home. 
She doesn't really believe in listening to what outsiders will say about you. It's what you tell her she's going to work with. So she said that's what she took on and on and on. And she didn't really think Emmanuel would play her like that. Lika Rose also stated that there was the time she stepped into the bathroom and saw Angel, GMK, Emmanuel and Cross showering together naked. And she was like, why would other girls be seeing you naked when me, your supposed girlfriend, hasn't even seen you naked before? There are just few things I told her reacted to. Like when I walked into them having the shower, we were like four in the bathroom. And I was really mad that night. I think I saw her. the shower. It was in the shower with both. I think, I can't remember. I think Angel... Well, she has plenty claims. There, was, there were times when she would even call Sammy and discuss that her ex-boyfriend was a basketballer very handsome had money that um she doesn't even think um emmanuel was all that so ibuka asked her that so even with all this your complaints and all this your concerns why did you keep going back she said because she just she had fallen deep for him at that point and the feeling feelings she couldn't just hold them back the beatrice and angel situation that night was going on at least like um parent would draw my attention to it Maria drew my attention to it, like, oh, Imano is flirting with girls. And at that time, me and Imano were not, we were just like... You were still starting off. Yeah, we were still starting off. And he was like, oh, he's really sincere. And uh, he asked Sammy to come talk to me. Tell guy came to talk to me for him, my money and all that. And I was like, I don't know if I want to fall in love in this house. You know, even though I was liking the guy, he grew on me. And I was trying to, like, hold my feelings back, but I couldn't. Ebuka turned to Yerins that what does he really think about their relationship? He said, Yerin, <laughs> the polymath said that what he thought was that everybody wanted the emma rose ship except the emma rose themselves that sounded dumb to me initially but when i had a rethink it kind of made some deep sense to me because everybody was emma rose shippers are rooting for emma rose in the house i didn't really i wasn't really a pro emma rose because i felt the liquor rose was giving 80 and Emmanuel was giving, he wasn't even giving 10. He was giving maybe like 5. And the remaining numbers in between that, I don't know who was giving it. I think it was the shippers and other people in there. Maybe white money. Uh -huh. So I felt I felt she was trying too hard in relation. So I was not a pro Emma Rose. But Yarin said that everybody wanted them except themselves. Today, Emmanuel is doing that one. Tomorrow, Lika Rose is calling him out. So it was too drama filled. It was too dramatic for it to really remain in the whole emeralds is just everybody around them loved wanted the emeralds except the emeralds so like <laughs> that's about that so eboka said ilikoros's birthday was on the 31st of march was celebrated on the 1st of april this year 2022 he she now asked if emmanuel was in attendance during her birthday she said no he asked emmanuel if he was there he said no she now, he now asked that, is it that you didn't invite Emmanuel? Because that really drew people's attention that, ah, it's like this thing is real, though, that Emmanuel didn't attend Liko Rose's birthday. Ebuka turns to Saga and said, okay, so Saga, you and Emmanuel, you guys are the engineering boys. That's what they call themselves. They studied engineering in school. So why did you, sorry, did you notice that your brother and friend did not attend his girlfriend's birthday? He said, yes, that he noticed that we were all, all there vibing, but... He didn't see Emmanuel, but he still vibed. You know, Saga is an open, is a free spirit. Um, Ebuka said, did you feel the need to ask Emmanuel why he wasn't at Liko Rose's party? He said no, that he didn't ask because he wanted to respect privacy, but he didn't ask. Okay, Ebuka let that slide. Came back to the two people in the picture. Liko Rose said she already told her PA to send invite to the people she wanted. She posted it on their group chat. And he saw it but that she didn't exactly but she was really busy that she didn't exactly send it to him so ebuka said do you think you should have told your pa to send emmanuel since he was your boyfriend and invite why aren't you supposed to send it yourself she also know that she was busy and she vetted the people that were going to be invited so emmanuel was on the list so she didn't really see the big deal so Emmanuel said he wasn't in attendance because they weren't in tech talking terms at that time. So he didn't want that everything was already awkward. So he didn't want any awkward situation where he would just be sitting down or he would just be standing looking for what to do or acting weird at the birthday. That that's why he wasn't in attendance. Ebukadan went ahead and asked Emmanuel that during his relaunch of his hair lab, his salon and his spine, Portacot, so that he did a relaunch after the house so during his relaunch that how come liquor rose wasn't there and he had a private dinner with sasuke when you had oh 
or more. Emmanuel was just trying to, you could see that he was trying to be de defensive and defensive. To cut the long story short, Ebuka was now asking that at what point, what was the defining point? At what point did, because now, since April, you guys were already having shaky, shaky issues. So Emmanuel was trying to project the point that um, Liqua Rose was insecure. That if he talks to a girl or if he tweets something, Liquor Rose will chat him up that I don't like what you just tweeted. Why will you be tweeting something like this? People are saying this, people are saying that. That's what Emmanuel was trying to project. The whole summary of what he was trying to say was that um, Liquor Rose was controlling and insecure. He kept pushing that narrative and pushing that narrative. Liquor Rose on the other side was being asked by Ebuka that people really thought that Likoros was also using Emmanuel to play her game in the house. Likoros told Ebuka that God sees her heart and she knows that she wasn't, that she genuinely loved um, Emmanuel. And even under the sheet that she knows what they usually do under the duvet and how he tells her he loves her under the sheet and all that. That even after the house, when they were doing their media rounds, she, um, the, she saw something about him and Angel. Then he went... She went to him and ranted that, what is really going on? Do you really want to be with Angel? That he was raising his voice. She was also, that, oh, that was the first time she saw him being expressive. Hey, because I was even trying some joke that, ah, that we missed that drama. Because Emmanuel is just always just there. And Likoros told him that he could go and chat with the girls, but she didn't say he should flirt with the girls. Because Emmanuel was now saying again that it was Likoros that said she should go and chat with other girls. She said, she said chat with other girls because you can't just be confined to me and you can't just be termed boring if you have what to give out. But don't flirt. So Likoros said that um, Emmanuel still even told her on the 5th of October 2021 after the house that he loved her. No, I'm like, yo, do you like Angel? You're asking the, You're asking the question. She want to be. So that night we had the argument. And we said to Dana, Dana was what brought up okay. I started to like, okay, maybe Angel was really flirting with him, maybe other girls, because of the the conclusion we came at. Like, okay, no. And he said it to my face, I'm in love with you. This was outside the house. Yeah. I think that was on the fifth. Because there's no cameras the now, and he still says, I love you. Uh, on the fifth of October, no. yeah. There's no cameras now, he still uses the L word. Yeah, 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 because okay. we're having an argument, like, he, that was the first time he yelled at me, and I yelled at him too, like, we're yelling at each other, and it was expressive, that was the first time I saw him expressive, I'm like, Sh you know, it was heated, you know, and we settled, and, that yeah, was <laughs> <laughs> and we settled, I came, I, I walked on, I came out, I'm like, I want to ask you, and he was like, yeah, 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 I know, I'm in love with you. Again. Yeah, so that was what made me not so, so see at that point, okay, so he again. says he loves you, at that point, did you still, so they were cool and all that. So they were just going back and forth. All these G's were just going back. Ebuka was not like, you are still taking me to the end. At what point did you guys have this breakup or this hitch in your relationship that defined the breakup? Emmanuel was still going on and on about the insecurity and him not flirting and all that. Likoro just said, please wait. <laughs> she just dropped the broke even she shattered the table and finally said that okay uh, that was never the issue we're dating right and i walk into you and a girl in dubai what dubai yeah we yeah about that can i finish and i walk into you uh, and a girl in dubai the only night i just slept in your room the light was off the music was playing it was dark the bed was rough and the girl Sitting right. at the edge and she was covering her face with face marks. She walked in on Emmanuel in Dubai with a girl. The bed was, the bed sheet was rumpled, I mean, the bed was rough, the light was off, music was on, bed sheet was rumpled, the girl was hiding her face and sitting by the side or the edge of the bed with face mask on. Bash! It was broke and I'm like, and Imano even wanted to interrupt and continue his being defensive at all. But she was like, please, can you let me finish? <laughs> and she just said, hey, can you say, hey, Dubai again. My former video, I'm going to link it in the crowd here. You can go and watch it. I spoke about everything that went on in Dubai. So this Dubai has caused, was what really caused the issue. So tomorrow, that's today's episode. We are going to see what really went down with Emmanuel and the girl that Likoros caught him with in Dubai. And we are going to know the girl. People are saying it's Angel. But 
<laughs> my angel already tweeted that I beg, I beg, nobody should call her into that rubbish, that she, she was in a Rolls Royce, that she wasn't on anybody's bed. Mm, okay. Apparently, maybe it's the guy has sponsored Rolls Royce. Who knows? So, guys, thank you for watching. That's just what went up today. I'm going to give you guys more juice later today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe, please. Subscribe. Bye. Didn't even ask me what